In today's video, we're going to have another talk about Cosmic, about the things that need to be done to shape it into a beta product. They've been fixing a lot of bugs lately, and I'm super proud of them, but they're missing a lot of the core features that could improve uh, this desktop environment by a lot. The one thing that needs to set them apart from things like KDE is fixing bugs when bugs present themselves instead of waiting months and then releasing new major versions. Instead, it would be a little bit better to, if a bug is huge, fix it, release an update, since most of their stuff is pretty much, well, uh, modular. You know, each individual thing is modular, such as the dock, the panel, and all the applications, including the file manager and whatnot. They are modular. And what this means is it should be very simple to just bug fix. Where KDE is not as modular, things are more tied in and they need a version updates and releasing minor bug fixes require uh, 6.4.1, 6.4.2, things like that. That type of updating, while it can make things... Uh, no, no, it doesn't do anything. Really, it just makes things more complicated than anything. Yeah. And even GNOME does that, and it's not something that I really have ever liked. They need to focus more on bug fixing. And I've said this time and time again, and as, why I, and as this product goes into Beta 1 in September, which is coming, it needs to maintain its focus on working correctly if a user says there's an issue, if it's reproducible, fix that bug. Don't wait for the next beta. Just release beta 1.1. Beta 1.0.1. Keep going with the beta to where the point is. The beta 2 has over a thousand bug fixes. Don't be afraid to shine. Even Apple has jumped into doing re-releases here again and again as they've redefined iOS 26. A beta every week has been nuts and people have been giving feedback and things have been getting fixed and I don't think I've ever seen iOS in such an optimized, speedy, fast state. Yeah, I use iOS. Get over it. Now, here's the thing. I love Cosmic. I've loved Cosmic since the beginning. I had it in pre-alpha. I would daily drive it. I would test it. I'd report bugs. I'd get things fixed. But as time went on, their focus was more features, 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 features. And it became more of ignoring the issues at hand until they completely broke gaming. Uh, they demolished their overall performance. They had major regressions. Alpha 1 to 7 was just disaster after disaster. And I'm glad that they finally shaped up and managed to get it in a state where I can daily drive this if I wanted to. It's fugly as hell and it needs a lot of work. But I can still daily drive it, and that's what matters. So, where do we begin? Okay, well, we begin in uh, a familiar place where most, I guess, Katie and most uh, Hyperland users would end up beginning. The config folder. In here, you can do anything. Like, there's settings for a lot of things, but I want to start with the dock. And if you look around, you can see there's a ton of things, but then there's the dock and it still says V1. Now the dock hasn't actually changed much at all since the original, but the one thing that does kind of change, unfortunately, is, uh, where is it? It's not the padding. The margin is what brings it off. The border radius, I think it is. Is it this one that's at 64? Yes. Okay. I want to do something real quick. I want to do this so we can see the changes in real time. So if we open up this and we put this at zero, that makes the dock square. If we put it at 64, that makes the dock completely round. This option is not available in the settings. So by the way, this is a complete and utter disaster. The display settings, we'll talk about that later. We go into desktop, we go into dock. As you can see, it's just size, uh, transparency, which display you want it on okay and things like that there's no options whatsoever to deal with anything else and this is where it falls apart the most if your dock has the ability okay to have all of these individual settings changed 
such as Anchor, Anchor Gap. Can we open this up? That's set to true. Set to bottom. Uh, we got auto hide. Auto automatically hide the dock is there. We got auto hide hover, so 500 milliseconds. And um, let me see, is that in here? That is, that's not in here. This is just set as default. There's no option to change that in here. Okay. It's actually, let's do this. We No, that's a launcher. Let's put you there. Let's put you down here. And let's put you here, okay? Border radius, I already have open. Actually, let's close all other tabs and then close this. So, anchor, anchor gap, auto hide, auto hide, milliseconds, background, uh, exclusive zones, expand to edge, keyboard inactivity. You've got layers, margins, names, transparency, output. You've got padding. Okay. You got plugin center, plugin wings, size, size center, size wings. Uh, you got spacing, all of these things. Okay. All of these things can be changed. Zero spacing. Okay. Deal. That changes the spacing, not by a whole lot, but it changes enough. You got size wings. I don't know what the hell that means. You got size center size so medium so if you wanted to change the dock to make it bigger it's sml so small medium large you got this which is plugin wings i don't know what the hell that means uh and this this is your plugin center so this is the things that you have on here so like applications and then you got minimize and so on right and the and the app list that's this is the app list right here and yeah, you can just pin stuff and unpin stuff. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Run on. Yeah. You got padding. So the amount of padding on the left and hand, right hand side, set this to 10 and then the padding gets bigger. We can set this to three and the padding smaller. You got output. So which display to show it on? Transparency. We're at 0 0.9. You got the name, which is to dock. You got the margin, which is... Well, if I change this to six, you'll see what it is, right? Uh, so that's why I have it set at two. So it's barely off the ground. You got layer, right? It's a top layer. So you're actually able to do layers. You got keyboard inactivity, on demand. You got expand to edge, false. Like there's just so much exclusive zone. So this is the zone where it stays, right? And you got the border radius. That's 160. You got the background, theme defaults, and so on. All of these options should be shown here, but they're not. And this is a problem. There's a whole bunch of stuff that is essentially just missing. And here's the cool part. Cosmic panel has the same or it did the hell. What did they do to cosmic panel? Oh my God. I think they just stripped all the options out of it. Unless, oh, is this it? Ah, yes. This is the same thing. This is the same thing right here. So if we went to margin, we open this up and we did two. Save it. Now there's a margin up on top, right? And uh, if we added border padding. Where's border padding? Does it still exist? Background. Expand to edge. I uh, don't really know how to use this very much. Gap between screen and edges. So there that's possible right that's possible and we got border radius so it's 160 okay all of it's still here like if we wanted to change the size of this it's extra small but we can just change this to small look at that that's huge so xs is extra small and it actually has to be xs or else it doesn't work and it's it's nice to see this type of stuff going on. I I want everything that's in here to be exposed in here. So that is again, that is something Cosmic can do before it finalizes itself. Okay? Because having all these extra options and users not knowing about them, that's not okay. Alright, people love to customize. And if you take away the customizability, you're taking away a lot. Okay? You're taking away a lot. Uh, another thing is, let's go to panel, 
Let's go to this right here, right? User sessions. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put that all the way at the end right there. That looks fine. I like that. It's kind of ugly, but it works. Uh, now, application button. See? Now it actually shows an icon. It should always show the icon. But we as the people should have the ability to have the icons change. So if we want to change this to an arch logo, we should have the ability to change this to an arch logo. That's the thing. Look at the launcher button. See that? That's interesting. It can go away though. I don't like it. Uh, say I wanted to add a number of workspaces, right? Great. I can do that. Perfect. That looks like a more reasonable thing that I have going on. But in the defaults, it doesn't show the application icon. And I want to be able to change this. I would love to change this. But we can't change this right now. And that's a problem. It's a lack of customability. Customizability. You know what I mean. So things like that would be great to be able to change. Okay? They really would. Now let's talk about displays. So the, the GP that you have works like this. If you have three display ports, great. If you have two HDMI ports or one HDMI port, great. The HDMI port is seen as display one. And then from the right hand side over, you have display two, display three, and display four. Okay, that's how that works. On this card that I have, the first HDMI port is display one. That would be zero here. The second port would be display two. Okay, that would be my smaller display, my tablet. The next part over would be display three and four and so on, right? That's how that works. There is no display zero, so this is incorrect. There's no display zero on Mac OS. There is no display zero on Windows. There is no display zero on any other desktop environment. This in itself is wrong to how the GPU sets displays. Not only is it wrong, but this is extremely buggy and does not work the way that it should. Uh, when I set my refresh rate, I have to log in. I have to log out to have the refresh rate that I want because it essentially doesn't set the proper refresh rate. So it does not feel like 180. And another thing is this does not scale down. You notice this? It's not scaling. And this does not scale up to meet the full space. They need to be different. Okay. Use the space that is given to you. All right. Please. So this should be display one. This should be display two. This should be, be display four or three. This should be display four. That's how that works. Technically, this is three. That's four. This is two and that's one. But the point is, it's just not correctly done. Zero is not counted as the first display. It's not how numbers work. Zero is nothing. One is the beginning of something. Ugh. Don't be that guy that tries to divide by zero. All right. Now that the bad math jokes are over, I'm not even sure I can count that as a math joke. Uh, we need to move on to sound. This is limited. This is very, very, very limited. Uh, think of an application like Pulse Audio Control Center, where they have separate little tabs up here for each individual thing. This is just sound. We need a volume mixer. We need a multitude of things. And when we have the sound up here, we need to be able to click it and change inputs depending on sound. So it shows the applications that are currently using sound. We need to be able to swap those over to certain inputs. That would be better for the streamer and overall more professional or else this is not going to be used just like every other desktop environment doesn't really have uh, their sound options used. This is sort of just here and as an emergency. There we go. Also, well, I, like, yeah, that needs to stick. That little white, like, that thing right dead in the center that's not dead in the center, uh, it needs to be a lock point. So 100's there. Anything beyond, it's going to struggle, and then you pull, and then it's good. Don't just allow it to go straight forward. Little easy fix. I have no complaints with power and battery. That's exactly what it should be. All right? As long as it overrides in the system itself, I'm good. 
Everything else here seems to be fine. These are just minor complaints. These are things that should be fixed that need to be fixed. Another thing is that when I full screen an application like this, the dock needs to not extend to edges. We already have a panel. That doesn't need to be done here. Okay? A dock should always remain looking like a dock. It happens on macOS. And it also happens on GNOME with their, da with their dash. And it also happens on KDE when you turn a panel into a dock. I don't know. Just uh, think about it because I don't know who thought this was a good idea, but this just is wasted space and it doesn't look good. I, I don't care if you say it does or not. It just doesn't look good. Anyway, with that, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this thing needs animations as well. Like really, really, really badly does it need animations. Uh, that's my other complaint, I guess, but I guess it doesn't really matter because I doubt they'll listen. But let's see if there's been updates. Do-do-do-do-do. Oh. Well, we got a new kernel, and they updated the panel, the sessions, and the applets. But other than that, nope. No real updates. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're new here, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button leave a comment apparently that's required now to have a video be a part of the algorithm so that'll definitely help for me and uh if you want to help me you know support me keep me doing these videos become a member on youtube it's super affordable there are also many different tiers you know if you want to uh and i'll see you guys next time